Hey guys, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty fantastic, thank you for asking. I'm also exhausted, so bear with me. This decadent meal I found is uh, from TikTok, and it also requires a lot of ingredients. So of course that spooked me and I didn't want to do it. I want to get better at Kate's Kitchen, okay? I want to do things that I'm a little uncomfortable doing. You know the drill. Okay, so we have spinach, chicken, gnocchi, bacon, carrots. We have an onion, we have minced garlic, heavy whipping cream, chicken broth, seasonings, and flour. The TikTok didn't really have instructions, so Kate's gonna figure this out. So we're gonna get set up, everything is gonna be in this pot. We're gonna have to shred the carrots, we're gonna have to cut the bacon. So as you can see, Thor has joined us. So we're gonna season our chicken with all this stuff to the best of our ability. You got garlic, we like garlic. And then we're gonna do some basil. I got poultry seasoning. I can't tell you how much I have in here, but we're gonna, more than I thought. I'm gonna put some oregano and then uh, some paprika. Paprika doesn't really have any spice to it in case you're worried. It's more, more just like for coloring. And of course, salt and pepper. Of course. Salt, pepper. That's one side. We gotta flip them and do the other side. Gotta season both sides. Seasonings, woohoo! Now we have to cut up the bacon. I don't know how much bacon this guy used. I'm just gonna wing it because I love bacon and I know y'all probably love bacon, so here we go. You want little pieces of bacon because I'm pretty sure the bacon is going to go on top, like as a sprinkle, you know? Here we go, we're cooking the bacon. So I'm trying to cook this bacon down to be crispy little bites, right? Will I burn it? Probably. Do I care? No. Turns out you also need celery to this dish. Luckily, I bought celery at the store because I caught it beforehand. Um, I'm sure if you don't like celery, you don't have to use it. I know celery is kind of like a touchy subject for some people. So if you don't want celery, you don't have to do it. I used like this big of a stalk and I just chopped it up decently small. Bacon piece is done. We're gonna move that over here. We want the bacon fat to still be in here because apparently that's what's gonna cook the chicken and make it taste really good. Well, we're gonna do our best, so here we go. One, two, okay, best we got is two for now. Okay, you know what's annoying? This guy says leave the chicken in for a few minutes and then take it out when it's nice and glistening. People that don't cook aren't gonna realize what that, they're gonna think you just do this for like a few minutes and take it out and it's boom, done. I don't like TikTok chefs. That's why I'm here, Kate's Kitchen. I'm taking the bullet for you and a salmonella poisoning. Not, not poisoning. I've never gotten myself sick from my own food, so haha. So we're gonna cook this at, um, I don't know. Hey Google. Set a timer for five minutes. If you are scared, like me, of cooking chicken, a meat thermometer is gonna be your best friend. I'm gonna wait while this cooks and then I'll flip it and then I'll get back to you. I just flipped the chicken. It looks pretty good. I'm really proud of our uh, achievement so far. That is chicken and bacon grease. But the good news is I think we are slowly getting there. It has been cooking on five minutes for one side, five minutes for the other side. Oh. I'm gonna take it out now and test it with the uh, meat thermometer. It has to be 165 or over to be edible. 137. Okay, so we still have some more time to go. What about this one? Oh, you're at 146. We're gonna let it cook for a few more minutes and then it should be good to go. Is this what being a mom feels like? chicken both have approved times temperatures and blah 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 so now we put that to the side okay so garlic got onions celery we're losing some i don't think that guy's bacon grease did what mine did and got like you know crunchies on it so i do believe mine's gonna have little burnt crisps the thing is too this guy didn't use any measurements whatsoever so I'm gonna guesstimate for the majority of this. If you can kind of guesstimate based off what I've put in, that's gonna be great, but if you can't, I'll try to figure it out underneath and put it in the description if you wanna make this. I know a lot of people don't usually end up doing this, but he threw in some flour for the roux, um, but he didn't specify how many. So this is a fourth of a cup. I did a little less. I may toss some out, because you can always add more, but you can never take out. So I may do that much of a fourth of a cup. I don't know if you can see, like there's not a whole lot in there. We're gonna throw that in once this kind of like liquefies a little bit more. And so they get, they're not like crunchy vegetables, they're just like softer. Thanks to this TikTok video, I don't know how long it's gonna take. So I'm gonna use my best guess 
and just watch it for a while. I'm not going to put y'all through that, so stand by. And you want to know the funniest part? So we add in the flour, right? And stir that around. But the best part about this, ready, is he says to add in chicken broth and half and half. And I, there's no measurement for that. So what we're going to do is I'm going to measure it <laughs> and we're going to do our best, okay? So we're going to start out slow and then either Nate or future Kate, whoever's editing this, thank you so much, um, we're going to do the math below. So this is one third a cup of oops, chicken broth. And I don't have half and half, I have heavy whipping cream. So I, hopefully that's the same or very similar. We do one third a cup of heavy whipping cream and then we're gonna mix it and we're gonna see if that will suffice. If not, we just add more. And honestly, I'm not sure what this is supposed to look like. I'm gonna add, cause this is supposed to be a soup. So I'm gonna add another one third cup of chicken broth and another one third cup of heavy whipping cream. One more cup of chicken broth. So I did two thirds of heavy whipping cream, one cup of chicken broth, right? This does not look appetizing in the slightest. <laughs> this is what his looks like. Creamy, delicious. Do I need to add more heavy whipping cream? I think the reason why my color is off is because my chicken didn't, the thing is his video, look at me. His video literally doesn't have any measurements. And when he cooked the chicken and he took the chicken out of the pot, there was still, it looked like olive oil was in the bottom of the pot. It didn't look like bacon grease had crunchied up or whatever. So I call him a liar. We're only really gonna find out if this is good or not by my trial and error. Worst case is not good and I have to eat it, not you. And then this whole Kate's Kitchen is, you know, an idea. Maybe you have an idea of what to do, an idea of what not to do. You can perfect it, who knows. He just says add in more seasoning. My guy, w what seasoning? <laughs> All right, um, well, my favorite one's garlic, so we'll throw some more garlic in there. Let's do a uh, paprika. Maybe that'll give it a different color. So bring it to a light simmer. So here we have our carrots. Let's just bloop, doop. Said add in spinach. He did not add in a whole lot, but guess who is? Because I love spinach. And it also is just gonna disappear. That is just gonna end up being a tiny, tiny little crumb of spinach, and it's gonna be so sad. Ankles, please. All right, so we're gonna submerge the spinach. I know what you're thinking, Kate, the soups, it's ruined. No, it's not. Trust the witch in her cauldron because this will shrink. And then you're gonna be like, Kate, where's the spinach? And I'm gonna be like, it's right here. And it's gonna be like a little crumb. It's actually looking a little bit better now. We are close to the finish line, everybody. Okay, so now we have to add the gnocchi. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It, it, it. Okay, that was a lot of gnocchi. I'm gonna add, I would say I added another uh, third and I'm gonna add in a little bit more cream. Maybe that was like a fourth. We're gonna stir it up a little bit more. How long do I cook the gnocchi? It doesn't say. It doesn't tell me anywhere. It doesn't tell me on the bag. It just is distributed by Kroger. For more product information, scan your Kroger app. I don't have a Kroger app. Boiling it in sauce is similar to boiling it in water except it eliminates a step. Oh, thank God. I was about to be so mad because that guy poured it out of a bag into his pot of stuff, right? Oh, my battery's gonna die. If he boiled it beforehand, put it in the bag and then dumped it in, I'd be so mad. Okay, so it just says make your sauce, blah, blah, blah. Cook for five to 10 minutes covered until the gnocchi is softened. Okay, five minutes. I tasted one of the gnocchi because I didn't know if it was done or not. And oh, it is so good, dude. I was so surprised. So we are almost done. All we have to do is we cut up our chicken, push it into this. We gotta mix it up and then we're gonna scoop it into a bowl, sprinkle the bacon on top and try it out. Here we have it, our gnocchi chicken bacon soup. That's kind of more like a stew, I guess. It's really hot. So I kind of want to cool it off before I taste it, but I also don't want to. Do you see how hot this is? I'll try, but like, I'm gonna burn my tongue. If I burn my tongue, it's y'all's fault. I'm already burning my hand. Here we go. It's good, what the hell? Mm-hmm. It was chaos and it turned into a creation. So, hey, anyway, um, I definitely recommend this recipe if I could figure out, you know, the recipe of what it actually is. But um, thank you for watching. My camera's gonna die again any minute. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have fantastic, helpful stuff and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.